taking action for you. A mother who sued Weight Watchers is talking to 7 Action News tonight about the case she settled. Uh, she claims she was denied a job because she was pregnant. 7 Action News reporter Kim Russell spoke to her about the controversy caused by her baby weight. Wendy Lamond Broughton is a mother of two who says Weight Watchers has helped her stay healthy over the years. After my first child, I lost 30 pounds in three months. The Rochester Hills woman says she was honored when Weight Watchers asked her if she was interested in helping others lose weight. And I wanted the job and I said, I'm so excited. I want to work for you. I'm pregnant, but I still want to come in. And they said, don't come in. We're not going to interview you because we never hire pregnant people. I honestly didn't believe the woman knew what she was talking about. I, talk, I asked to talk to HR. I thought maybe she just, you know, I kept giving the company a chance to fix it and they never did. So she sued for pregnancy discrimination. This month, the company agreed to a $45,000 settlement. Wendy says it's justice. But here at the Weight Watchers headquarters in Farmington Hills, a different story. The company is saying while it's settled, it's not guilty. First of all, I'm a mother of seven, and so being pregnant is just part of what I've done all my life. President and CEO of Weight Watchers, Florian Mark, showed us pictures of her family. She says she knows moms can work. She says a worker may have suggested that Wendy wait until after she had the baby to apply because you have to complete three months of training. But we would have taken her if she would have said, no, I really want to come now. You say, fine. So why didn't Weight Watchers fight the suit? I probably would have said, let's go to court. But that would have cost hundreds of thousands of dollars. And, you know, I'd rather give that to charity. Wendy, meantime, has advice for other expectant moms who feel they're facing discrimination. You have to stand up for yourself. Even if nobody listens to you at first, just keep going. Kim Russell, 7 Action News.